Peace and prosperity be unto all who's listening and watching. It's your girl, Shay Miller, right? And I'm back with another video. And today, I just want to talk to you guys about how important it is to set goals. And let's just get right into it. So, the biggest thing about setting goals is just getting things accomplished. And it's like backtracking. You can keep track of the process and your progress. You can keep track of when you set the goals. You can put your date over them. You can do any of that. But the biggest thing is having a set direction, a set decision, and a committed way. And a mental, a, a mind of brass. Mental. Strong and having the ability to overcome, achieve, believe, and do. But you got to have the actions to back it because your belief is totally your actions, right? It's a it's a, a reflection of self-worth and how much you love, believe, and cherish yourself. Setting goals really is important because uh, it leads you to where you want to be. It leads you to that destination, that direction, that um, place of getting things done. So what you need to do is you write down the goal. Uh, you also need to know the process of that goal. So let's say the goal is, uh, I'm an author, so I'll just use writing a book. Ultimately, yeah, you want to decide, okay, I want to write a book. What would this book be about? Okay, this book would be about, since I love helping people, it would be some book about self-help or empowerment and encouraging, right? Okay. So you don't pick the, I don't pick the topic of the book. Now I need to I need to have the book written. So write the book. Type out the book, edit the book, find a publisher, pay the publisher for the editing or whatever the case they need to do, pick a cover out and get it published is the is the like the seventh thing. But you need to know the process of things. You need to know the process of goals. And you need to write them down. So write down a list of goals. The things that you know you want to accomplish before the end of this year. Before the end of 2020. Write out your goals. Make it vigilant. Make it plain. Make it simple. Mark them off as you go. Work on them every single day. Because there are some things about people who set goals not everybody looks at their goals every day. You should look at your goals every day to get them in your subconscious thinking so that it's always on your mind. So when you're out about doing something else, you're motivated. You're thinking about, I got things I want to achieve. I got things I want to accomplish. And those goals are always in your subconscious hard drive, right? So thinking about goals and writing goals is the main key but also speaking to those things into existence like to clarify them so not only do you write your goals do you know the process of your goals then you commit because like when you decide that you want to achieve something you're deciding in your mind that you're going to do it so commitment is the unction to actions so what comes right after commitment and decision is your actions because ultimately you already decided what you want to do and if you are somebody who's very into research you've done the research that is going to take to achieve or go through the process of those goals you know we got through the process then you would take actions and you know the process of that you won't you will know the process but you won't know f the full process because ultimately life has its own process if you know no matter what you do in life you can't speed things up you can't slow them down but you can definitely work at your own pace uh like mark down your short-term goals your long-term goals and the things that you want to do every single day because those are powerful the, the things you do every day ultimately um, make a decision for you and how you'll wake up in the morning and how you'll perform every day and how you chase out your dreams on a daily basis. It is your performance um, regulator of a daily, it's daily routine. Having a decision mind, deciding how you're going to get up and go about things on a daily basis because you have a daily routine, you have something that you do on a daily basis 
to keep you in alignment with your goals, your ideas, your dreams, your aspirations, and the things that help you stay motivated, right? So after setting goals, is the walking forth and committing and making a decision and walking in the actions of doing those things because ultimately everybody wants change everybody wants something different in life but ultimately people don't utterly decide hey i'm gonna do this i'm gonna stick with it i'm gonna be committed 100 percent you are the co-creator of your life and like whether you're happy or unsatisfied with something is ultimately up to you so making setting an example is better than being somebody who says hey you should do this 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 and this is how you do it you should definitely be somebody who steps up and show people this is how you do certain particular things it's easy for me to write out my goals and mark them off as i go and uh keep pro track of it with my 60 day challenge so that i can see where i'm going so that i don't get stagnant about well things are not happening and this and that and this i like to stay in a state of mindfulness because ultimately what we get in a place of stagnantness in life and we believe that nothing is happening but things really are but because we can't see uh, the unknown um we doubt we have doubts and we have unsurenesses, but ultimately what you want to do about that is you want to be mindful. So you do a 60 day challenge to keep up with your progress, to keep up with where you're headed and on everything that you're doing, you just within whatever the date, write the date down. And then from that date, the next 60 days, every single day up to the 60 days, you write down your progress in a journal on a notepad on a piece of paper it doesn't matter but you keep up with it so that you can know how far you've come and how much you progress as an individual as a person who's achieving goals and setting dreams and somebody who wants something better with their life so this is just keeping you organized it's keeping you grounded because you want to be a grounded person you want to have a strong mental when it comes to achieving things because in the life of uh, you know dreams you don't just get it from speaking and speaking into existence you have to work on it because if you don't work on it it'll never happen it'll just be like talking about change and never ever doing anything to change you know it'd be useless words are useless when they're not put forth into actions and that's why people believe actions are more important than words but honestly words are the alignment of actions and if you don't have one you should you won't have the other because your words should be the reflection of who you are and what you desire in your character but we won't get into that <laughs> but yeah guys uh make sure that when you're setting goals that you're sure that you're deciding to commit after writing them and that you make sure that you do what do your very best okay because all you can do in this life is your best give your very best to achieve those dreams figure out what it's going to take and do it okay decide now because it's never too late okay it's never too late just decide now what you're going to do and when you decide what you want how you want to get there where your destination is all that good information your purpose what makes you happy all these different things when you set every goal based on who you are based on what you want based on where you want to be you ultimately make your life better because you no longer are satisfied unsatisfied with the results because you're doing everything in your power everything with your time to get to the place where you want to be so Love you guys. Engage in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe to this video. And tell me about future videos you would like to hear. Give me some suggestions.